The Andrew Jurgens Company, makers of Jurgens Lotion, the most famous name in hand care, and new Woodbury Soap, now with seven smoothing face cream oils, presents Bride and Groom. Hello, and welcome this Monday to Bride and Groom. With us today is a young man who is such an outstanding college athlete that he's received offers from five professional football teams. Whether he accepts the offers, though, is up to a certain young lady who's been sitting on the sidelines since she was 15 years old. Her version of this romance will probably be an inspiration to any young lady who's had the misfortune to fall in love with a young man who's already fallen in love with sports. First, though, I'd like to present another young lady, one who's fallen in love with a bargain. She's Virginia Dwyer, of course, and here's the bargain. When you buy two cakes of Woodbury soap at the regular price, you get one cake at half price. And new Woodbury soap is a luxury soap. That means it's enriched with seven smoothing face cream oils, which are intended to help replace those natural oils you ordinarily wash away. I think you'll love its rich, creamy lather, and I know you'll love the satin smoothness of your skin. So don't forget to buy two cakes of Woodbury soap at the regular price, get the third at half price. Now, this offer is good on both facial and bath sizes, but your dealer supply is limited, so stock up now and save. New Woodbury Soap for the skin you love to touch. These keepsake rings, matching and beautiful as they are, are from Mr. Robert Schoonmaker of Lebanon, Missouri, and a recent graduate of the University of Missouri, where he was a three-sport uh, athlete, outstanding, too, and his lovely bride-to-be, Miss Beverly Engstrom. And Beverly and Bob will be united in marriage now by Dr. John S. Wimbish of the Calvary Baptist Church of New York, and their love song will be sung by Phil Hammond. Why are the stars so brightly shining? What makes the world seem strangely new? Why do all lovely things seem fair? Why is the sky this deeper blue? to me in pools of blue, telling me truly that you love me, darling, how do I know? Paradise of Eden, the Lord God said of Adam, it is not good that the man should be alone. And the Lord Jesus placed his seal upon its sanctity there at the wedding in Cana of Galilee. Marriage comes down to us as a symbol of the mystical union between Christ and his church. For the Apostle Paul said the husband is the head of the wife even as Christ is the head of the church. Bob, Beverly, it gives me great joy to know that both of you are determined to build your marriage upon the precepts of God's inspired word, the Holy Bible. Will you repeat after me? I, Bob, I, Bob. take thee, Beverly, take thee, Beverly. To, be my wedded wife. to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold. from this day forward, from this day forward. For better, for worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance, according to God, God's holy ordinance, and thereto, and thereto, I plight thee my troth. I plight thee my troth. Now, who giveth this woman to be married to this man? I do. And will you repeat after me, Beverly? I, Beverly, take thee, Bob, take thee, Bob. to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, 
in sickness and in health, to love and to obey, till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I give thee my troth. Will you repeat after me? With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, and with all my worldly goods, and with all my worldly goods, I thee endow, I thee endow, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and in the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Do you, Beverly, give this ring to Bob as a token of your love for him? If so, say I do. Will you, Bob, take this ring as a token of Beverly's love for you, and will you wear it as a pledge of your love for her? If so, say, I will. I will. For as much then as Beverly and Bob have covenanted together according to the teachings of the scriptures, I, as a minister of the gospel, declare that they are husband and wife. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. Let us bow our heads in prayer. And now may the blessings of thy God wait upon thee, and the sun of glory shine round about thy head. May the gates of plenty, honor, and happiness be always open to thee and thine. For we ask it in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. You know, after postponing this day for four and a half years, as Beverly and Bob have, I bet they can hardly believe that they're really Mr. and Mrs. now, but just think how much they'll have to relive in the happy moments with the talking motion picture we're going to send them. They certainly will. And they'll soon have a honeymoon in Washington, D.C., too. In fact, this very afternoon they'll be heading south, and it'll be pretty hard to forget the smooth ride they'll have in that beautiful 1954 Pontiac Silver Street Chieftain. Remind me, I don't want to forget to give them letters of introduction to Ian Woodner, president, and C. DeWitt Kaufman, manager of Washington's luxurious Woodner Hotel, because that's where the... Schoonmakers are going to have their honeymoon. Yes, and the Woodner's a wonderful choice, John. Just seven minutes from the heart of the city, convenient for all their sightseeing expeditions. Yes, nearby the Lincoln Memorial. Uh-huh, and Jefferson's Memorial, with or without cherry blossoms. Still a magnificent Bet sight. Bet you the Smithsonian Institute, the Washington Monument, the Capitol Building. Oh, all these things. I know as the years go by, they'll never forget the place they visited. Or the wonderful Woodner, where they stayed for their perfect honeymoon. John, could I change the subject and tell about a shorter trip? Please do. All right. Well, if you ladies happen to be planning to take a trip to your store today, don't forget the bargain I told you about is really true. There is a half-price sale on right now. When you buy two cakes of new Woodbury soap at the regular price, you get a third cake at half price, and you'll look twice as pretty because new Woodbury soap is a luxury soap, and that means it's been enriched with seven smoothing face cream oils, which are intended to help replace those natural oils that you ordinarily wash away. So when you use new Woodbury soap, you can have... Soap and water freshness right along with face cream smoothness. And don't forget to use it in the bath for the same all over loveliness from head to toe. Remember, when you buy two cakes of Woodbury soap at the regular price, you get a third cake at half price. And this offer is good on both the facial and bath sizes, but your dealer's supply is limited, so hurry. Stock up now and save on new Woodbury soap for the skin you love to touch. Congratulations to you, Bob. You sit down here for a second, and you take off some of that extra lipstick, and Beverly, tell me how this romance got started, will you? Well, I was a sophomore in high school. Bob was a senior, and I wanted to date him more than anything in the world. All my girlfriends told me it was impossible, though, that I should even think such a thing. Not so impossible, after all, was it? <laughs> Did your friends introduce you, Bob? No, we got acquainted without help with it from anyone. Uh, we were both in the church choir. Even though I couldn't sing, I went anyway. It was sort of a social event. Sure. And then our first date, one day, I walked in the study hall without any purpose in mind. I saw Beverly and walked up to her and asked her for a date. And just as I asked her, that study hall became dead silent. And to top everything, she didn't even answer. Leaving you standing there. Yeah, I seemed to lose my voice for a moment. I'd waited all my life for it, and then I couldn't even answer. But I think the answer was obvious. You didn't wait very long, 15 years. Yeah. That's how old you were. Well, I hope that began a long series of dates for you. Well, at first we started off, we just dated once a week. And then as the time went by, we dated more often, as, as often as the family automobile was available and finances would allow. So. And then when I went to school, we had to start writing. We wrote so much, in fact, that on Saturday, in order to m make time during a busy week, I'd address a whole week's supply of envelopes. And believe me, I don't want to ever write another letter. <laughs> I hope you don't have to. Well, Beverly, be kind of worried when 
Uh, your your man went off to another college where he'd meet hundreds of other girls? Well, not too much, because I'd seen the way he'd ignored other girls. But I soon found I did have competition, and that was sports. First he went out for football, and then it was basketball, and then it was baseball. So I saw him just about once a month. Oh, my goodness. When in this long courtship did you first discuss getting married? Just before he went away to school, we decided to. He asked me if I would wait four years, and of course I said I would. But since we had so long to wait, we didn't become engaged until my past birthday. I see. He said he guessed that I thought probably he had forgotten my birthday, but he wanted to wait until we were alone as he had something special for me, and it was my ring. Oh, that's wonderful. What are your plans for the future, Bob? Right now, our plans are a little indefinite. I've been seriously considering a pro football offer from the Baltimore Colts, and then, too, I'm a reserve officer, and I'm expecting a call from the Army, so we're a little bit undecided right now. So whatever your plans are, they include being together, and that's a source of happiness. We've made some plans for your future, too. Uh, such as wedding gifts? Yes. What's, uh, what's first on the agenda? The first one is for Beverly. It's a bridal shower of fine Jergens and Woodbury cosmetics. That includes Woodbury face powder with a special ingredient to make it cling longer, look smoother. How about Bob? For Bob, he'll have this Clevelander chair. Well, Beverly's going to love it, too, because it'll blend so beautifully with any decoration scheme. And you'll love the way it rocks, reclines, or revolves. Well, that's one apiece now. How about something for the home? Something for the home. How about an Admiral refrigerator? So, sounds wonderful. <laughs> well, it certainly is. It has that giant-sized freezer chest, removable door shelves, and push-button defrosting. Those are just a few of its wonderful features. Yes, and you know, I uh, understand you had quite a time trying to select the silver wheat pattern for your sterling silver. Of course, there's so many beautiful Reed and Barton designs, I can understand that. And you certainly agree, though, that it's the finest sterling silver, don't you? Here is a natural twosome, a Hoover vacuum cleaner with aerodyne tank and 12 handy attachments to give your rugs the best care in the world. And, deserving every bit of that good care, a heavenly carpet by Lee's. It, you know, it's safe and snug and comfortable. It'll make your home a haven. Of course, as we say goodbye to you as we leave on your honeymoon, we extend you all of our good wishes for the happiness of a long married life together with great happiness and family and all the things that go with it. And before we say goodbye to you, would you take a tip from someone who knows? The subject concerns you and your beauty. Ah, your eyes are like deep pools. Your lips are a ruby delight. Your hair is like molten gold. Your face is your fortune. But how are your hands? Do they betray your beauty? Naturally, detergents make my work easier. But... Detergents can rob my hands of natural oils and youthful softness. Today, I scrub the floor. But in spite of it, I avoid detergent hands. I finish the dishes with my favorite detergent. But after detergents, after any harsh soap or cleanser, I smooth on pure white Jergens lotion. Just a few drops help replace the softening moisture your hands need. Jergens lotion penetrates instantly softens instantly. More women use Jergens lotion than any other hand care in the world. Use Jergens lotion. Avoid detergent hands. Ten cents to one dollar plus tax. Tomorrow we're going to meet a young man known as Tunney to his friends and with a very good reason. You see he's won three Golden Gloves boxing tournaments. But of all the days in his life, the most important was the day that he saved a very attractive young girl from drowning. The same young lady will be his bride tomorrow on Bride and Room, and she'll share with him the telling of this most exciting and unusual love story. I have just a moment, and I'd like to invite any of you who are planning a wedding or know some young couple who are, to drop a line to us at Bride and Groom, care of the National Broadcasting Company, New York City, and we'll send you an application. Write in if you're planning a marriage, and don't forget to join us tomorrow at the same time on these same NBC stations. Bride and Groom has been brought to you by the Andrew Jurgens Company, makers of Jurgens Lotion and new Woodbury Soap.